What's up guys, Jason Gerber coming at you with another video. This is part two of three of my boosted board extended range videos. If you did not check out my previous video, that was my unboxing of this new extended range boosted board battery. And in this video, I will be installing it on my uh, V2 boosted board dual plus. I'll be showing you some performance videos of the board with the new battery, just riding around Baltimore and the inner harbor see how it performs fresh out the box also forgive me i'm still sick if i'm talking weird my throat is f***ed. this was just the box this came in so let's just get straight into this installation video so here we go also i apologize this table is very squeaky but it's been a while since the boosted board has been on the channel and as you can see i've gotten a lot of use out of it at the moment it is pretty dirty um some of this is dirt some of this is just the metal getting worn away okay so here is the board i just spent the last couple minutes uh just cleaning it and going through some motor issues that i was having as i said at the end of the last video the board does come with bigger or thicker plastic plates that you can install on the new board but it's optional because it's only if you're 175 pounds or over because of the uh, flexing of the board that's why I said I thought that since the battery is thicker um, if you're a heavier rider there's like more of a chance of the battery scraping so I think this just slightly increases the ride height of the board which I'm glad I don't have to actually install this because I feel like that would affect the actual um, comfort of the ride because you're physically higher on the road if you do have to install these boosted board did upload their own really simple short like minute and a half installation video it's pretty good so definitely check that out. So this isn't really going to be that much of an instructional installation. I'm just going to be kind of doing it. If you want to actually learn how to do it, watch one of Boosted Board's videos because I can't talk that much. One and two, I'm kind of just winging this. So Boosted Board did give us a bunch of tools to use for this, but I think I'm just going to be using my screwdriver right here. So first things first, I'm going to be taking out these six screws right here on the actual battery. So once you got those six screws off, you can then comes up and then you can see the actual wire and all that. Whoops. So make sure the battery is off when you're disconnecting it. They do give these little tool things to unplug the battery. Okay. Old battery is removed. This is what it looks like old battery new battery it's time to install this there's definitely a size difference between the two batteries this one is definitely a little longer and also thicker as you can see so i got it plugged in now and now i'm just gonna tighten it with the tools make sure that's super tight so here's what i'm looking at from my view so this is the little connector right here that goes into the battery this is the extended range here's all the hardware um, these are the little um, tools they give as you can see they're boosted branded um, pretty cool you just like pinch them and twist they're pretty simple they're just plastic um, but yeah this is what you need to definitely make sure you secure and tighten um, for the battery so because you, you don't want a unsecure connection and something can totally go wrong if you mess this up Just place it back down Put those steel plates in. I'm just gonna use the ones from the old battery Definitely a thicker battery and it's definitely a little heavier I think not too crazy So here you guys go a new battery is installed as you can see it's pretty beefy if we compare it to the old battery right here if we set this on you can see a little size difference right there and kind of a height difference you can see my camera setup over here only real difference besides the dimensions is this little extended range imprint we got right here but this is how it's looking actually you know it it actually fits perfectly it would be so dope if you could just mount both of them at the same time i mean this board would be heavy as hell but could you imagine so here's the remote right here let's see what happens when we turn this on turn the remote on first 
as you can see it's on and battery button does feel different as you can see it's doing this flash thing I did install thing correctly if it wasn't installed right it would be yellow but since it's flashing white that means I need to update the board software so I'm gonna open up the boosted board app Jason's boosted board connecting 34% I'm gonna need to update it so I think setting it says boards up to date I don't think that's right turn it back on still says that maybe I should plug it in so it's been about maybe like 40 minutes and I'm still like having issues with the battery as you can see it's still flashing white it's plugged in basically the only step that I'm missing is that when you have the new battery plugged in you're supposed to get a notification in the app saying to update the board and I haven't gotten any drop down notification like that except for one saying to adjust like I think the weight of the board or something but that doesn't say anything about an update so I'm just charging the board right now and I think I might just take the or uninstall the battery and try installing it again to see if there if I'll fix it but right now it's not looking very good and I'm also not going to be able to actually test the board today because it started snowing a little bit we'll see how dry it is later but right now I'm about to unscrew these again and try this again so I'll let you know how it goes okay so another update I just got off the phone with Nancy from boosted Board. customer service very good customer service by the way I've emailed them before but it's the first time I just went straight to using a phone call and they answered right away and very helpful just sent some screenshots and they're gonna send that to their developing team or services or something I don't really know what's happening several days later Okay guys, so I finally, after a few days, just got the board updated, at least on the app, so let's see if the board actually turns on now. There we go. A green light. Of course, the but the remote is dead. Three, four, five. Oh, it sounds like it's connected. Now let's see if we can actually connect this board. Okay. Finally, we finally got this to work. 100% charge, it's on expert mode. It says 8.1 miles is the range, so that's an effective, that's technically double the range. And my thing's gonna die again. It says if I go on the slowest setting, which is 12 miles an hour at the beginner setting, it says I can get 15.1 miles. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Stay tuned for more videos on this and definitely follow my social medias down below. If you have any questions on the board, you can drop a comment on this video or PM me if you want something more private. Catch you guys in the next video. Jason Gerberg signing out.